now it's time for a Ferb's Eye view from the 2010 Little League World Series. This Ferb's Eye view has been brought to you by the 2010 Little League World Series. Now back to the game. Phineas and Ferb noting our camera lens destroyed. A 4-3 lead, uh, Washington on top of Connecticut, and we're going to get a new pitcher now. So both sides have their starters out. There's a lot of good arms on this Washington team, and Dylan O'Grady might be considered their ace. Back in the regionals, he went 2-0 with a 10 innings pitch, 19 strikeouts. And here, so far, the Little League World Series, he's pitched an inning in the third with two strikeouts, hasn't given up a run. So 85 pitch maximum counts. Not really going to come in on the Washington side because they've been changing their pitches often. But 66 pitches on the other side for the Connecticut pitcher. And we're going to go to the bottom half of the fourth inning now. Four, three, just a one run difference in the game. And a good one, and one of these teams will be eliminated. A chance at uh, moving on to a championship game with a loss here tonight. So a lot at stake. Billy McGrath leading it off. Grady's delivery, and that's going to be taken inside for a ball. A lot of strategy being employed by Washington, hoping to move through this game, even though it's only a one-run game tomorrow night. Possibly trying to face Texas and have their staff ready as they continue to try and stay under the 20 pitch mark so they can go with no day's rest with a lot of these pitchers. A two ball, one strike count. McGrath hit into a double play his first time. A couple of games were rained out last night, which altered the schedule a bit. Obviously, in one sense, benefit and benefit to those teams that would have another day's rest for their star pitchers. Here's the 2-2 delivery, and that's back into the screen. The way you're seeing Washington handle the pitches is something that was done throughout the regionals by Washington. Casey Manning, who's considered their star pitcher, won three games at the regionals, but never threw more than two and a third pitches in any game. As they were juggled the way they're being juggled here. And that will be handled by O'Grady. McGrath out of there. With the changes that were made in the schedule, this is the setup for tomorrow. Elimination bracket. Hawaii, Ohio at four. Chinese Taipei and Panama. Panama would be eliminated with a loss in that. And the Texas Washington game of either it's Texas Washington or Connecticut game tomorrow night at 8. That 8 o'clock game is where the strategy will be employed with the Washington Connecticut teams. And I'll tell you what, that 6 o'clock game with Taipei and Panama has got a lot of ability on the field. Taipei is undefeated. And Panama has tremendous talent. Just hasn't shown the discipline yet to really follow through, but they're still alive. These decisions regarding pitchers are scary for managers because if you have somebody pitching really well and you want to pull him so you can save him for the next day or the day after, and then your other kids don't come through, it's like a big yank. It's just a, it's a risk that you run, but it has worked for Washington so far, and that we're seeing it employed here again tonight. Well, when we have substitutions because of the mandatory play rule, you come back right in in the same place in the batting order, but you can't come back and pitch in the first inning and come back and pitch in the fifth or sixth. Once you pitch and you have left that position, you cannot come back into that pitching position anymore. They're protecting the young arms that way. Manager Nahaku's decisions have brought Washington here. The so other, if it's working, just stay with it. The other new rule about protecting the arms is if you've caught more than four innings, four more innings, you cannot pitch. The third, and that one's going to scoop through. That will be a base hit. Liam Ortsalon with a single here in the fourth inning and one down for Connecticut. They lead it by a score of 4-3. Our media coverage on hand here. You can see 
<laughs> Lots of help. There you go. Get the wave going. Even Elvis is here. Oh, no. That's no. Dug out. No, no. That's... Looks a lot like that, though, doesn't it? And massages. Dugout does it all. Dugout does a little bit of everything. Just set the camera down, lock it. Get a massage, get the shot going. One away. And Bow! a check swing inside. Raji has come on as the pinch hitter, so they've gotten everybody in. One on and one down. They wanted to check on the swing, and the first base umpire says no. Eddie Maji. And he's ahead on the count. Two balls and no strikes. Man on first. Two balls, no strikes. Only down by a run. Building a rally right here. Nardone's three RBI homer has accounted for all of the runs for Connecticut. Showed by taking all the way and he's on. Two on, one away. And now you're back to the top of the order with Tommy Ryan. <laughs> Base hit and a double, Gary. And that will lead to a discussion on the mound. Okay, bear down. All right. Hey, let's try turning to him. Huh? If he gets off, you guys are ready for the tag behind. Throw behind. All right, let's get after it. No, no, no. Dinahaku, the Thank you. Manager. Thanking the home plate umpire, Jeffrey Knoble. He also reminded his kids about the base runners. If they take long leads after the pitch crosses the batter, they might throw behind to try and pick somebody off. We'll get our special pinch runner down at second base for Warsaw, who comes out, and Patrick O'Leary. Now Patrick O'Leary will come out. <laughs> And Wurzel will come in because I think Patrick O'Leary is still in the lineup. You can't be a special pinch runner if you're in the lineup. Okay, here we go now. At that point of the game. So he got his little running in there. And there's a little bloop that is caught. And the throw to second is in time. Hatch again at shortstop provides a big defensive play and has now been part of three double plays in the first four innings of this game. You know what we got to do, right? Oh, yes, three doubles. Somebody tell us what we got to do. Hit the ball. 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 Hit the Isaiah Hatch has been outstanding, and Tyler Tan does a great job of calling for the ball to complete the double play, and a nice beat.